Hey everybody, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. I want to talk about pumps. Um, this is one of my older pumps that I had from a, uh, as you can see, it's a direct drive pump. It's a Comet ZWD K4036, uh, basically 4,000 PSI, 3.6 gallons per minute. Um, this one, a couple things about it that um, you should see on, if you know, if you're starting out, um, basically four gallons a minute or below. Um, this would normally have had, I believe the actual knob or thing on it was was red, red plastic top on there. This is your actual unloader. This is the downstream injector. And obviously this is your little quick coupler. Um, we took this one out of service because the unloader went bad and basically this whole thing can be taken out if necessary. Uh, but based off of Russ's advice and several others, um, there's usually when this goes wrong, goes bad, there's other things going on inside. And that's one of the issues with a pump like this. Um, this is my downstream injector. If this stops working, you know, a lot of times you'll see on these ones where it'll actually start shooting water out of it. Um, it's not going to be a high draw injector. Um, you know, you're probably talking like 5% if that. Um, again, it was a decent machine. It helped me make plenty of money so I could grow and build other stuff. Uh, or buy other equipment, I should say. Um, obviously, you get your check valves inside here. You can take that whole part off. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking at your machine, um, you know, you got your Lowe's, Home Depot machine, or wherever you've gotten it from, Simpsons will be the same way. You'll see this little barb, that's your injector. On a regular machine, this would actually, so you'd have your, um, sorry, my dog's barking. So you'd have, obviously, the regular part of the pump head. Usually, you'd have your high limit, or high pressure side come out here and then it either would be directly screwed into an unloader that would be able to be you know un removed off of there um, or some guys will quick connect them or hand tighten or whatever um, depending on how you want that set up then you would have your injector if you're going to do it there or if you've got your loop um, bypass injector loop thing whatever um, sorry that would come next and then you'd have your quick connect fitting and then your jumper hose that would go to your hose reel. Now, personally, most times with the injector, we'll actually put that at the hose reel so that's closer. Because um, you really, I mean, you'll end up putting your machine somewhere that it's not going to um, get the exhaust on stuff um, and in whatever convenient spot. But out, usually you'll want to have the hose reels either on the back of the trailer or on the... Um, basically on the passenger side so that that you know if you're pulling up for residential you can just pull up and uh, pull the hoses right off there this one also has this is a thermal relief um, because this one does not have a uh, the ability to bypass either back to this loop it actually would bypass and go straight back into it so you're only talking what maybe I don't know a half cup a cup of water or something at there at any given time and that's just a complete guess but it's really easy for that to overheat very, very quickly. So once it would get to a certain pressure or a certain temperature, this would actually blast off inside there and it would just shoot the water out. Um, that's a sign too. If this is shooting out, you're causing damage even though that's still relieving pressure. Um, if it's constantly spraying out, that means that the relief needs to be replaced. Um, down here, now this has actually been modified. I believe this was originally one of those glass filters um, which actually probably wasn't this is what I actually used to screw into a similar one um, and had the the glass outside casing so that was just a basic filter didn't do a whole lot and actually probably went more like that way but um, this one actually you can see has got the bypass loop so on those ones you'd have the um, this is probably how it'll come actually from the factory but would have your unloader here and then a real small bypass loop maybe a foot um, of hose so it would just kick in back there this one has uh, one of these would be plugged and the other one would actually have the loop go into it and that's something when you set up your plumbing for your bypass tank or buffer tank that you would do that so again that's just kind of the basics on our average pump um, and again if you're looking for a machine and it's got the built-in unloader and built-in injector uh, if you can't afford anything better, that's okay, um, but I would really try to steer you towards something that 
does not have a built-in unloader, does not have a built-in injector, um, because you're going to get much better results, and it's also easier to maintain. So have a great night, guys. Thanks.